Hey guys, how's it going? Today is like April 21st, 2021. And it's a really special day for me, though technically it, the event happened two days ago because Shutakumi, the madman, he finally did it. He and Capcom finally localized Daikakuten Saiban 1 and 2 into English for the US Capcom team. And now it's available for purchase. I've, I've already watched the reaction. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is I've already watched the video and initially wasn't impressed by it at first because I actually thought it only contained the first DGS package. But then I saw a scene and that scene was from the second game, which is ultimately closes everything, builds up everything that was great about the first one. Cause like there were loose ends that were not tied in DGS one, it was left with a cliffhanger. So I'm gonna go and re-react again to that video and a special occasion like this requires my Amuro Toru plushie doll. You'll know him if you're a Detective Conan fan. So let's just go and press the play button and hear from Shutakumi himself. 皆さん、こんにちは。逆転裁判、大逆転裁判シリーズ、ディレクターのたくみしゅうです。今日はとても大事なお知らせがあってご挨拶に出てまいりました。それではこちらをご覧ください。Only now, why did you have to invest so much of your savings on yes! Resident Evil and Monster Hunter? I will become a lawyer. I have to. Sisato uh, Mikotoba. I'm determined to bring about change in our legal system. Uh, now, let us engage in the art of deduction, <laughs> Mr. It's a great pleasure to meet you both. My name uh, is Iris Wilson. Joke out in life pages that scene! That scene <laughs> over there! That theme part of the World Fair. Here's a freaking steamship. Case of the explosive exhibition. Yeah, that one. Uh, it's been ages, but these graphics are so good. Here's not to me, Soseki. I'll comment about him later. Stereotype work. It just seems contrived, in my opinion. Yes, I love the juror system. I am so glad that they imported this from the Professor Layton Ace Attorney crossover. And the corner. <laughs> Hold it! Yeah, I I already watched a let's play of the series, so 
technically the DLC isn't going to be a case. It's just. Dai Gakuten Saiban One and Two. Naruhodo Ryunosuke no Bouken to Kakugo. 2015年に発売された大逆転裁判、そして2017年に発売された大逆転裁判2、この2つの作品がいよいよ1つになって登場します。プラットフォームは任天堂スイッチ、プレイステーション4、そしてスキーです。逆転裁判の世界と19世紀クラシックミステリーの世界が融合した新しい物語。そこに最高の美術とキャラクターデザイン、美しい音楽が加わって、チーム一同。自信と誇りを持っておすすめできる一品です。えー、僕も大好きです。本当に助けにです。どうもありがとうございます。Get your pointer finger ready for ten mystery packed episodes and eight mini escapades, offering over fifty hours of Ace Attorney drama and fun. Experience life at the turn of the twentieth century as you fight for your clients in the courtrooms of Meiji era Japan and Victorian London. Listen to the characters in your choice of English or Japanese voice acting. Revel in each character's lovable quirks as gorgeous visuals and vibrant animations bring the world of the great Ace Attorney to life. Step into the courtroom, 27th July, on the PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, and Steam. Please see the official website for more details. In addition, we're bringing the stories of Ryunosuke Narahodo God, and his descendant Phoenix Wright together in the Ace Attorney Turnabout Collection, featuring the Great Ace Attorney and the 2019 release Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy in one complete set. Pre-order or purchase the game just after launch to obtain the From the Vault DLC, featuring additional art and music you can view at any time from within the game. Please see the official website for details on how to download the uh, DLC. Digital pre-order information will be coming in the near future. But I'm not gonna comment why. <laughs> 2001年から始まった逆転の歴史も今年でなんと20周年。節目となるこの年に大学天裁判を世界に向けて発表することができてとても嬉しいです今回はついに英語にも対応できたので海外の皆さんにも遊んでいただけるようになりました作り手としては本当にドキドキしていますということで大学天裁判1 and 2なるほど龍之介の冒険と覚悟発売までどうぞお楽しみに That's it. That's it. I just, in spite of the midst of like the COVID 19 pandemic and political unrest and protests in like various countries around the world, notably like the US, but also my own in Asia and like the Middle East and South America, we're able to finally get this gem. And it's just, it's just great. I mean, yeah, we have to accept like that we are living in this new reality, but I'll, I'll, I'll take this for, for what's worth that I can. I'm just, I'm just sad to regret that I unfortunately was not able to go and、um, experience、um, the story blind by playing the game itself for when it comes out in July. Because I already watched、um, a walkthrough translation and translation of、um, these two games done by Tysa the Gamer. I highly recommend you look at her channel. I, basically, I was in, I'm so indebted to her and her teams and friends'、um, contributions to doing like a, a blind let's play and then a voiceover let's play of the. Daigaku and Saiban duology. It was so amazing. She's an amazing, incredible person. I even got to know her a bit personally playing、um, Overwatch back when I still enjoyed it.、Um, 2017 ish, etc. Like when the Retribution pack came out. We actually played together. She under her pen name, SDZ Gamer, and me on、um, Trollo. <laughs> Trollo Lo. Yeah, it's it's surreal. So please go and check out her channel. I'm duly grateful. Now, as for、um, yeah, describing 
um, the setting and the time of like, yeah, so if you're like an Ace Attorney fan who has already played all the games which have been localized in English, and maybe say might have even like looked at Ace Attorney Investigations 2, yeah, you know what? If I accidentally spoil Investigations 2, sorry. So quickly, <laughs> quickly skip the next couple of seconds or so, uh, if that becomes the case. But yeah, it's it's definitely going to be political. If the fact that it mentions that like um, we had that. Um, plot not only revolves around Meiji era Japan, the universe of Meiji era Japan, but Victorian era England, and about one of like the first times ever, yes, actually the first time ever that the Japanese people actually went to get educated over in the Western, in, in the Western world, and then bring that knowledge back is, is really a turning point. Turning point watershed moment, and in fact, you you even get to like see like um, Shu Takumi and Capcom's um, own rendition of an actual figure who existed during that time, Natsume Soseki. He's an actual um, I would describe him to be like a historical author who's written many works. They're mostly short stories, some novels, and I believe from poetry. I might be mistaken on the last part, but I actually had to read. Um, one of his books for my history of modern Japan class in college. It was um, Kokoro, which stands for um, the spiritual heart. The spiritual heart. You might even consider it to be kind of synonymous with Tamashi. Tamashi meaning the soul. I'm not quite certain how to really, really get into the distinction of it, as I'm not a Japanese-born person who's really, really gung-ho interested into the religious spiritual movement. I am. I, I find it, like, exotically refreshing and fascinating, but I just don't know enough about it. Um, but yeah, so, first time that um, Japanese people are going outside of Meiji era to Britain and our Western countries, um, after abolishing the isolation policy um, from the Tokugawa era. Unfortunately, kind of done a bit forcefully on the hands of the Americans with Commodore Matthew Perry. But um, it, it is what it is. The colonization and imperialism happens. There's nothing we can do about it. Um, so, um, yeah, it's just kind of you get to actually feel like a traveler itself in like two different countries. A little bit of Japan, though I guess it's only really for like two cases where you get to have that exposure. And for the rest, Victorian era London. And I I really don't know too much about Victorian era. I, I never really studied Victorian era of history in depthly. Um, but it, hey, it's the time of Sherlock Holmes and Everyone who's like a murder mystery fan knows Sherlock Holmes, including me. That guy played like the Ace Attorney game and watched the Detective Conan anime and read the Detective Conan manga for like God knows how long. So kind of have a rough idea from the games I've seen and played what it's like. But it will be a treat. It will be a treat. Now, in terms of mechanic-wise, how it will be different, you kind of like saw three main parts in the exposition of the trailer they gave. There's the new... They renamed it, but it was like called something closer... I, I forget the name. But it's basically, instead of like just getting testimony from a witness and cross-examining them, you now get to actually go and physically observe, inspect them, to see if they have any suspicious quirks, which are actually contradictory to statements they remark or make. This is kind of like an upgrade of how, like, uh, key killers and witnesses who are lying have certain, like, quirks or ticks, like, moving and stuff, which was already incorporated since Apollo Justice and even beforehand that. So I think, uh, 
Wait, no, sorry, I lost my train of thought there for a second. Yeah, it, it's great. Uh, the, the music which comes of this, especially the Allegro, is, is top-notch, in my opinion. And then we have... Yeah, I already mentioned in the trailer, like, how I'm elated for the jury system. It's just great to, like, take a look at, like, two statements and contradict each other. Now, a new thing on the other hand that is unique to DGS is you do this, you do the same thing, but not with the jurors, but with... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got confused. Sorry. My bad. Utter BS. I got reversed. So you actually did go and look at different um, witness testimonies. Witness testimonies. Um, yeah, because Ace Attorney versus Layton had like multiple witnesses on the stand at the same time. And not only would they give like continuing, continuous um, testimonial accounts um, indicate, indicative of some sort of crime, reporting a crime, but they would also, um, you could use them to like contradict one each other. But the juror thing is new. The juror is new. We've never had a jury system except what could have been for like Apollo Justice if they ever carried on with the jury system. But I think that's just... That's just been retconned out of existence now. So yeah, that is complete joy. It's, um, yeah, it's it's not too different from the multiple witness thing that you already had in Ace Attorney, but you get to have um, special visual effects with, this is a minor spoiler, well, not really, it's just a detail thing, uh, the, the giant, um, Towers of Justice? No, uh, Anvils? Anvils? You know, the counterweights. The counterweights of justice. Being let light on fire on different sides, being either indicative of a guilty or a non-guilty verdict. So, uh, yeah, and I'm just... So that's 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 historically how it's going to like be set up. It's a historical drama. There's going to be lots of references to like key figures, and I think I think also yeah, um, the way you're going to investigate is going to be much more limited now. But actually, well, you'll see. Sherlock Holmes in this or Herlock Holmes, I should say. Oh dear God comes up with a bunch of uh, neat inventions that you can do and you examine stuff empirically, which is completely his style, because his style of investigation is always hard sensory perception evidence, unlike, say, Hercule Poirot of the Agatha Christie, uh, of Agatha Christie's um, universe. Um, yeah, it's going to be political. The plot, if you were... If you were, yeah, 2006, ever since 2016, 2016, 2017, seems to have been a big, like, mass in terms of, like, coming up with, like, JRPGs, visual novels, with political conspiracy theories, or theories where you just go up against, like, insurmountable forces, which would just be like, God, I'm looking at you, Persona, and should make me tensing. <laughs> so, yeah, if you are already kind of familiar of that kind of conspiracy-like political atmosphere that was prevalent in Spirit of Justice and Ace Attorney Investigations 2. I'm not going to carry over more because then that would be too much spoilers. Then you're going to see that up to the ante or up on steroids even more, time up to 11. And it's... It, 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 it's glorious. I, I can think of a... I'm thinking of like a particular like stacked meme that can go in, but I I, I can't say. It'll be spoilers. If enough time passes, I might <laughs> post it or yeah, I'm actually thinking like in the future I might actually do like a meme review of like <laughs> the series. Um Yeah, of, of the announcements. <laughs> and then just do it. Cause I remember like what happened when things blew up with um Sans Skeleton. Um 
being put on Smash in addition to Steve from Minecraft, in addition to Joker, Banjo-Kazooie, Sephiroth, your god, and... Uh, I'm sorry, um, uh, Zoom Blade Plants, but the two other Storm Girls. Yeah, that... It's just... It, 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 it's just too good to be true. Yeah, so... That's it. Um, so yeah, in, to summarize, be prepared for historical drama exposure into the world of 1700s, 1800s Japan, Britain. Lots of literary cultural references. Oh, I almost forgot. Parodies of actual Sherlock Holmes stories and making fun of them. <laughs> how they're implausible. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll see how. Um, and... And yeah, just like a new sense um, investigation mechanic, gorgeous graphics, uh, five game in one bundle display, uh, that, that is such a good deal. I don't know what the price is for that, but that's probably gonna be very good. I, I absolutely recommend you go out and buy. Um, yeah, this world drama, uh, Britain, Japan, Britain, Japan. Yeah, with political conspiracy. Yeah, and all those new mechanics. It's just, it is just great. If you haven't like played in blind, just immediately please go play it. I'm sorry if I'm being repetitive. It's just sensitive. And then for our last quote, I think just in honor of this. I mentioned the meme review as well. I might also do um, some more esoteric like math related stuff like in future or stuff including like anime or games um, that I like or that you the viewers like as well. If you want something that's like me devise like some problem that's in the fictional narrative universe, please tell me what story you want me to work on. And if I have the time, I'll get to it. But until then, I think I've already blabbed far too long enough. Thank you so much for um, uh, listening to this reaction video. Until then, have a pleasant day and please stay safe.